Welcome back people, Carlos Moe We've uh, got a bit of an overgrown property here It's winter time in New Zealand And the grass is wet The ground is a bit I wouldn't say soggy Wet underfoot, you can feel it So I got the phone call from a young fella he rang me up and said was I able to come around and do a quote and have a look at the job. I said yeah no worries. I popped around and had a look. And I gave him the price and uh, that was it. So I rang him uh, a couple of days before and said I'll be around and uh, to do the job. So here it is. This property here. I'm just uh, going to run around the whole property with the wacker first because as you can see it hasn't been cut for a while for quite a few weeks I'm just going to take a bit of the overgrown vine off this fence as well while no one's looking uh, just looks a little bit tidier there uh, and this area here is down the back corner you can if you have a look at the ground you can see how wet or how damp it is so I'll just clean up along here and move along further down the back of this uh, fence line so I've done all the fence line and now I'm a I've got the whacker out, well I still had the whacker out I just went from the fence line now onto the grass as you can see it's fairly long it's not up to my knee but in places it will be over my ankle say halfway up to my knee in places it's kaikuya grass and as you can see where I am right there where it is changing colour to a light creamy or light yellow colour the reason that is that it's kaikuya grass and once it gets to a certain height it starts to fall over on itself and starts to form a bit of a mat so there's no sunlight getting down to the other grass down below so that why why it changes color so I'm just moving along with this it's going to take a while uh, well that's okay because that's what I'm there for but for you people you can uh, just keep on watching if you wish and I'll come back to you a little bit later uh, I think maybe when I get up to the mowing okay I'll see you there
Right, I'm back again. That was all the whacking done. So now I've got the mower out and just doing a few laps of honour. That's what I call it, going around and around and around. So for the amount of time I spend on the mower compared to the amount of time I spend on the whacker, it's unbelievable. I would say on the whacker I'd be spending maybe 80% on the whacker. And that includes going around all the fence line, doing the edging and doing the lawn. The mowing is nothing really. As you can see, I'm moving a lot quicker with the mower than I am with the whacker. Because there's no way I could cut this lawn like this without using the whacker first. It looks fairly good at the moment. The reason is I've already been over the over this property mowing it on a number five. On the mo at this moment I'm mowing it on four and it's come up pretty good. Uh, I said to the young person that yep I can do the job but when I finish it it won't be like a bowling green but it'll look a hundred percent better than it was when I started so I've just finished mowing here and I'm going to get the whacker back out and just do a final trim off because we always have runners sticking up with this kikeria so that's about it people, if you like this kind of content maybe hit the like and subscribe, maybe share, a few comments would go down as well. Uh, I'd like to thank all the subscribers and also to all those new people that have subscribed to this channel. Thank you very much, have a look, up, have a look at the before and afters and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay everybody. Everybody take care. Catch you later. Bye.